Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Sint TV Ang dami nyo namang baong pagkain, Nanat Dino. Siyempre, baka gutumin tayo. Marami tayong gagawing projects. Oo nga. Tara, kain na tayo. Ano ba yung mga dala nyo? Eto, may soft drinks, candies, crackers, at chocolates, at marami pa. Wow. Diba yan din ang mga kailangan nating dalhin sa araw na ito? Ang alam ko ay tutukuyin natin kung alin sa mga ito ang substance at alin ang mixture. Ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng substance sa mixture? Para masagot ang katanungan mong yan, Fer, tunghayan na natin ang ating teacher lecturer sa araw na ito. Balita ko tungkol dyan ang magiging talakayan. Tara! Let's watch and learn! Good day, Fernandino teens, and to all students of the city of San Fernando, especially the grade 7. Welcome to Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. And I'm Ariel Chamian Maliari, your teacher lecturer for this day. And I'm here again for another topic from a series of science video lessons. Yes, we teachers are really excellent efforts in this kind of learning modality, so we can make learning easier for you. This is the only way by which education will not be hampered and your continuous learning amidst this pandemic may be ensured. Just stay where you are and all you have to do is watch, listen, participate, and learn. That is the only thing we need. Okay, let us begin, Fernandino teens. Let us put first things first. To start with, here are the objectives for today's lesson. First, identify and differentiate the general classifications of matter. Second, distinguish between an element and a compound. Third, 
differentiate a homogeneous mixture from heterogeneous mixture. Before anything else, let me ask you a few questions as we go on with our lesson. Is sea water classified as substance or mixture? Is helium an element or compound? What type of mixture is vinegar? Are soft drinks homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures? Does the air that we breathe in homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures? So, let us move on. You have learned that matter is anything that occupies space and has mass within the limits of gravity. A matter can be in three phases, solid, liquid, gas, and molecules in solids are closely packed together. Molecules in liquid are far apart from each other and can easily move, while molecules in gas are farthest apart from each other and can move freely. Matter is classified as pure substance and mixture. Pure substances are substances that are made up of only one kind of particle and has a fixed or constant structure. Pure substances are further classified as elements and compounds. An element is a substance that consists of only one kind of atom. Examples of these elements are found in the periodic table of the elements. The periodic table is a tabular arrangement of the chemical elements by increasing atomic number and group elements according to recurring properties. The seven rows of the periodic table are called periods. The elements in the periodic table are divided into three, metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Metals are located at the right side of the zigzag line, while nonmetals are located at the left side of the zigzag line. Metalloids are the elements found within the zigzag line. The columns are called groups or family. A group contains elements with similar properties. There are 18 groups in the periodic table. There are a total of 118 known elements up to this present time. Examples of common elements are oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, helium, calcium, iron, fluorine, manganese, gold, tungsten, and more. To distinguish an element from a compound, Elements are the simplest, complete chemical substances which consist of a single type of atom, whereas compounds consist of two or more elements combined chemically. A compound can be separated into its component elements or compounds through chemical means. For example, when elements of hydrogen and oxygen are combined, water is formed. Carbon and oxygen are combined. Carbon dioxide is formed. Sodium and chlorine are combined. Sodium chloride or table salt is formed. Other examples of compounds are sugar, ethanol, ammonia, hydrogen peroxide, and a lot more. To further understand more of this topic, let us watch this video clip. Welcome everyone! I am your friend sister in learning and doing fun activities in science. Today, we will be identifying some elements and compounds at home. A while ago, I collected some material. This is my mom's jewelry. These are made up of 75% of gold 
and 25% of copper and silver. I came across with these materials that my father stored. These are electrical wires. Electrical wires that are conductors of electricity and they are made up of the element copper. I also have the cotton boots found at home the kitchen. Hands are made of the element tin. I was surprised that there are a lot of elements in which are really present at home. Ah, this pot where my mom cooks my favorite. It is made of the element iron. Iron is used in buildings, houses, machineries, appliances, and kitchen cutlery too. Hmm. What else? Ah! When we breathe, we let the element oxygen enter our body. Our body needs oxygen so that it will work properly. As we exhale, our body excretes carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a compound made of the element carbon and oxygen. Carbon dioxide is useful to plants in their food production called photosynthesis. <clears throat> I suddenly got thirsty. Let me drink some water first. Hmm. Did you know that water is a compound? Water is a combination of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. There is also sugar, salt, and baking soda in our pantry. Sugar is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen and used as a sweetener. Salt is made up of sodium and chlorine. Baking soda is made of the element sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, and it is used for baking. These are only some of the tons of elements and compounds we use in our daily life. We should be more familiar with them and their uses and effects on the environment. I am your Narmi, your friend sister in the story fun science. Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya... Kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbiling daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ang ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Teens TV And we are back to Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 So far, I have left you a video to watch on the topic substances as elements and compounds To attest your understanding, let us answer the following questions on elements and compounds You can make use of the periodic table in answering too Answer the correct letter in the comment section of the chat box below. Number 1. Which element has a symbol capital C, small a? 
A. Carbon B. Chlorine C. Calcium D. Copper Good! Letter C. Calcium Calcium is a mineral most often associated with healthy bones and teeth, although it also plays an important role in blood clotting, helping muscles to contract and regulating normal rhythms and nerve functions. Number 2. What is the symbol for gold? A. Capital G B. Capital A, small u C. Capital G, small o and D. Capital A, small g Great! Capital A, small u is a symbol for gold. Gold is a precious metal that has held high monetary value for centuries and has been the means of attaining great wealth and forming great empires. It is a favorable hedge against inflation in a certain country. Number 3. What element has an atomic number of 16? A. Oxygen B. Sulfur C. Silicon D. Boron Exactly! B. Sulfur Sulfur is an essential to all living things. It is taken up as sulfate from the soil or seawater by plants and algae. It is also used for making car batteries, fertilizer, oil refining, water processing, and mineral extraction. Number 4. What is the atomic number of helium? A. 1 B. 72 C. 2 D. 8 Correct! C. 2 is the answer. Did you know that helium, other than its use to inflate decorative balloons, in helium mixture, it is used in respiratory treatments for asthma, bronchitis, and other lung deficiencies. It is also used to make high-speed internet, cable TV, mobile phones, computer, and tablet chips. Number 5. Which of the following elements is a metal? A. Hydrogen B. Iron C. Iodine D. Nitrogen Very good! B. Iron Yes, iron is an essential element for blood production. About 70% of our body's iron is found in the red blood cells in our hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is needed for transferring oxygen in our blood from the lungs to the tissues. Number 6. Which of the following is a compound? A. Manganese B. Silver C. Water D. Milk Nice one! C. Water is the correct answer. Water links and maintains life in all ecosystems on our planet Earth. As nature's most important nutrient, people need water to survive. Number 7. Which two substances are not compounds? A. Sodium and Magnesium B. Alcohol and muriatic acid C. Sugar and potassium D. Hydrogen and carbon dioxide Yes, it's A. Sodium and magnesium are both elements. Did you know that high sodium intake and reduction in magnesium consumption are associated with increased high blood pressure nowadays? And this is a leading risk of death in the world, common to adults like patients from India and other Asian countries. Number 8. Which two substances are compounds? A. Coke and Sprite B. Sugar and Salt C. Carbon and Coal D. Oxygen and Nitrogen Brilliant! 
B. Sugar and salt. Sugar is made up of the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, while salt is made up of the elements sodium and chlorine. Open heart research shows that sugar is in fact worse than salt for raising our blood pressure levels and heart disease risk. Did you get all the correct answers? Well then, you are doing great! There are several mixtures found around us. Some are solids like brass, sand, and rocks. Liquids like seawater and fruit juices or gases like the air that we breathe. Mixtures contain two or more components. These components may vary in size. The variation in size may tell whether a mixture is homogeneous or heterogeneous as you have learned that basically when you were in the intermediate grade school level. Most of the matter we observe is in the form of mixture. A mixture consists always of two or more components or ingredients that are physically combined. The substance in a mixture may be present in any proportion and the proportions can change as one of the substances is added or removed from the mixture. Another characteristic of mixture is that the different substances in the mixture can retain their usual properties. Try to add starch to water, sand to salt, and oil to water. You will notice that you can still identify the presence of starch, as well as salt in sand and oil in water are also observable. These examples are heterogeneous mixtures because you can distinguish the presence of substances in the mixture. The other substances in a mixture may be distributed uniformly throughout the mixture. Such mixture is said to be homogeneous. For example, air. It is classified as homogeneous mixture of several gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and a few other particulates. Try to add a teaspoon of salt in a glass of water and stir. After stirring, can you see the salt crystals? There is only one phase observable in a mixture. To have a better understanding on this concept of mixture, let us watch this video experiment. Hello everyone! Today, we will learn about mixtures. Mixtures are classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous. A mixture is said to be homogeneous when it has only one phase, since the components are uniformly distributed. While a heterogeneous mixture consists of two or more distinct phases. Observe closely the demonstration we will make. I have here a tablespoon of sugar and a glass of water. I will mix them and observe what happens. How many pieces of matter do you see? Correct, there is only one phase. Therefore, what I have prepared is a homogeneous mixture. Let me get a glass of water and oil. Here is a glass of water and I'm going to pour some oil. How many phases of matter do you see? 
That is right! There are two phases of matter, and both of them are in liquid phase, hence, this is a heterogeneous mixture. Again, a mixture is said to be homogeneous when it has only one phase since the components are uniformly distributed. And it is a heterogeneous mixture when it consists two or more distinct phases. I have here other examples of homogeneous mixture. These are the following. Vinegar contains acetic acid and water that are mixed together. A cup of coffee, which is a combination of hot water, sugar, and coffee. While soft drinks is a mixture of water, sugar, flavoring, coloring, and carbon dioxide gas. And lastly, alcohol. It is a mixture of water and ethyl or isopropyl alcohol. For heterogeneous mixtures, these are some examples available at home. I have here my sandwich, wherein you can see the bread and the cheese. Baby. My mother gave me a bunch of seeds in a glass. This is a heterogeneous mixture because I can identify the different kinds of seeds in here. Our last example is a mixture of water and stones. You can obviously tell where is the stone and water. That's, That's it for our today's lesson about pictures. Till next time, bye! Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Arlserano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month, nating temang Victory and Humanity, Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambe na nini, metong ka rin aktibidades na ng syudad at yung launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Yung Heritage Passport, at yung metong ka rin proyekto ng kaya katamong syudad yung pamina muna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong no ka rin makalagay lang ang dingega na ganang heritage sites, heritage structures, naakit ta mo kaya ka tamong heritage district. Makakaya daw din kaya ni, ding importansya daw ding mapin na tradisyon, kaya ni syudad, kalupa na ning pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May aho siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, anong nuka rin puntalan mo na ding at syukin passport, at saka ka mag-selfie, kay ba't kanta palto making tourism office, at mamiyalang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mong lugar. At di mong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balo ni Ngeni, panahon na ini, eh tamo makain bisa lumal, uli na ng COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga ini, agkatan ko lading bikers tamo, edad 18 hanggang 50, imbis na lumawot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures, kaya ni Siudad. Anya naman ka rin mumunang 50 bikers ang makayari kaya katamong heritage passport, may di na lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Gawan nyo mo bakit ang makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabihan ninyo kaya kayong heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyak yan, na nano ko pa, tara na! Fernandino Teens TV Welcome back, Fernandino Teens! Did you watch and understand the video experiment? I know you did! Remember, when two or more substances mix with each other without participating or undergoing in a chemical change, the resulting substance is called a mixture. 
The result formed due to the combination of substances does not lose its individuality nor are they combined chemically. Mixtures are the one product of a mechanical blending or mixing of chemical substances such as elements and compounds. Mixtures are made up of two or more substances that are not chemically combined with each other. The properties of mixtures are listed below. Number one, the components of mixture each keep their original properties. Number two, the separation of components can be easily done. Number three, the proportion of the component is variable. Examples of mixtures we have crude oil, a mixture of organic compounds, mainly of hydrocarbons. Sea water, a mixture of various salts and water. Air, a mixture of various gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, argon, neon, and others. Ink, a mixture of colored dye. Gunpowder, a mixture of sulfur, potassium, nitrate, and carbon. There are only two types of mixtures, heterogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture. What is a heterogeneous mixture? A mixture of sand mixed with salt is an example of heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixtures possess different properties and compositions in various parts. The properties are not uniform throughout the mixture. Air, oil, and others are examples of heterogeneous mixture. Sugar mixed with water is the most common example of homogeneous mixture. Therefore, homogeneous mixtures possess the same properties and combination throughout the mass. Alloys, salt and water, Alcohol in water are examples of homogeneous mixtures. Characteristics of mixtures that are standard to the naked eye as being observed. The constituents of a mixture are not present in a fixed ratio. Here are the various characteristics of mixture. Number one, there is no chemical force acting between the two or more substances that are mixed but they still exist together. Number two, they can either be heterogeneous or homogeneous in nature. Number three, the proportions of the substances vary in an indefinite manner. Number four, the properties of the mixture depends upon the individual component. Number five, the constituents of the mixture can be separated by physical methods. Number six, boiling point and the melting point of the mixture depends upon the characteristic of the constituent. Number seven, during the formation of the mixture, there is no change in energy. Number eight, all the states of matter as solid, liquid, gas, can combine to form mixtures. Actually, as grade 7 students, you will learn and understand more of these characteristics as you go through higher level. In the meantime, you should only be aware and learn the basic concept of this topic. Going back to these different characteristics, it can be concluded that almost everything in our vicinity is nothing but a mixture. For example, the food we eat is a mixture of ingredients. The atmospheric air we breathe is a combination of gases. And the fuels we use in locomotives is a heterogeneous mixture. Air is a homogeneous mixture of gases. However, the Earth's atmosphere is a heterogeneous mixture because it contains clouds and other particulates. Alloys are usually homogeneous in mixtures of metals. 
Examples of homogeneous alloys include bronze, brass, 14K gold, steel, sterling silver, and amalgam, which is an alloy of mercury with another metal used for dental fillings. However, some alloys contain multiple phases and are heterogeneous in mixtures. Unless solids are melted together, they are usually heterogeneous mixtures. Examples include a mixture of colored candies, a box of toys, salt and sugar, salt and sand, and a basket of vegetables. Mixtures with two phases are always heterogeneous mixtures. Examples include ice in water, salt and oil, noodles in broth, and sand, and water. Many common liquids are homogeneous mixtures. Examples include dishwashing liquid, shampoo, vinegar, wine, and vodka. Similarly, many common liquids are heterogeneous mixtures. Examples are orange juice with pulp and salad dressing, Immiscible liquids are those which will mix to give a single phase and forms heterogeneous mixtures. Examples include oil and water, molten silver and lead, pentane and acetic acid. Chemical solutions are homogeneous mixtures that have the same phase as their solvent. Some homogeneous mixtures are components of heterogeneous mixtures. For example, bitumen, which is a black viscous mixture of hydrocarbons obtained as a residue from petroleum distillation, which is used for road surfacing and roofing. It is a homogeneous mixture that is a component of asphalt, an heterogeneous mixture. Some mixtures appear homogeneous from a distance, but are heterogeneous upon closer inspection. Examples include soil, blood, and sand. Examples that are not mixtures. Technically, whenever you combine two or more substances and a chemical reaction occurs, the result is not a mixture, at least until it's finished reacting. Combining ingredients to bake cookies or a cake forms what is called to be a mixture in baking. But a chemical reaction occurs between the ingredients. The final result, cookies or cake, is a heterogeneous mixture. Combining baking soda and vinegar causes a chemical reaction. The end result could be a solution of sodium acetate in water or a mixture containing water, sodium acetate, and either excess vinegar or a dissolved baking soda. A while ago, during the start of our topic, I posted some questions like, Is sea water a substance or a mixture? What do you think now? Yes, it is a mixture. 2. Is helium an element or compound? Helium is substance under element. 3. What type of mixture is white vinegar? Vinegar is a solution. 4. Are soft drinks homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures? Soft drinks are homogeneous mixtures. Does the air we breathe, a gas or a mixture? Amazing! Yes, air that we breathe in is a homogeneous mixture. More on this topic as we return after this short break here at Fernandina Teens TV Season 2. Hindi lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino, kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving, or NEST, 
isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang mahalawakang pagtulong, pagantabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng school supplies, tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay ia-add ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring i-post ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, grade at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng i-post. Pwede rin mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Pandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay pribado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumite ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face -face, kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede ring mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto gayat ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child. Kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib pwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, 
magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan. Fernandino Teens TV Welcome to the last segment of our topic, Distinguishing Components of Substances and Mixtures, here at Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Let us now have a recap of what we have taken up for this day. Matter can be broken down into two categories, pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances are further broken down into two, elements and compounds. Mixtures are physically combined structures that can be separated into their original components. A chemical substance is composed of one type of atom or molecule. A mixture is composed of different types of atoms or molecules that are not chemically bonded. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture of two or more chemical substances where the various components can be visually distinguished. A homogeneous mixture is a type of mixture in which the composition is uniform and every part of the solution has the same property. Various separation techniques exist in order to separate matter, including distillation, filtration, evaporation, and chromatography. Matter can be in the same phase or in two different phases for this separation to take place. This part could be studied and learned as you go on to higher grade level. Now let us answer the evaluation questions on pure substances and mixtures. Number one, which of the following mixtures is a considered homogeneous. A. Alcohol B. Halo Halo C. Paint D. Mixes Great! A. Alcohol is a homogeneous mixture. Number 2. Which of the following mixtures is considered heterogeneous? A. Vinegar B. Mixed Nuts C. Alcohol D. Fish sauce. Excellent! Letter B. A mixture of different knots is a heterogeneous mixture. Number 3. What type of substance is always made up of a single type of atom? A. Compound B. Element C. Molecule D. Mixture Yes! Letter B. Element Number 4. Which of the following is a pure substance? A. Fish sauce B. Soy sauce C. Vinegar D. Water Very good! Letter D. Water is a pure substance. Number 5. Sucrose is another name for table sugar. Sucrose is a compound made from the elements of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Which statement best describes the properties of sucrose? A. They are exactly like the properties of carbon. B. They are exactly like the properties of oxygen. C. They are exactly like the properties of hydrogen. And D. They are different from the properties of the elements of sucrose. Correct! Letter D. They are different from the properties of the elements in sucrose. Number 6. Which of the following is the way in which elements and compounds are similar? A. Elements and compounds are both pure substances. Elements and compounds are both listed on the periodic table. Elements and compounds are both made up of different kinds of atoms. D. Elements and compounds can be both be broken by physical changes. Exactly! Letter A. 
elements and compounds are both pure substances. Number 7. You are eating a cheeseburger. What type of mixture are you consuming? A. Homogenous B. Heterogeneous C. Solution D. Suspension Amazing! Letter B. Heterogeneous mixture Number 8. Which of the following is an example of a pure substance that is a combination of two or more simpler particles joined together? A. Carbon B. Oxygen C. Sea water D. Sugar Brilliant! Letter D. Sugar Did you all get the correct answers? I'm sure most of you got the ball. Let us stop our right shoulder for answering them correctly. Mixtures such as tea that we all enjoy as relaxing drinks is now considered a remedy for preventing the spread of the virus and boosting our immune system at the same time. Drinking acids in the form of tea such as calamansi, turmeric, and ginger tea can help prevent and kill COVID-19 virus. Moreover, this has been a practice of people nowadays. Majority of the population are very cautious due to the pandemic and this practice of drinking tea has become a habit and a form of healthy lifestyle. The use of various COVID-19 brand vaccines nowadays in the form of Sinovac, Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Sputnik, and others are examples of substances and mixtures which were researched and developed by scientists and medical experts in a plea to solve a safety protection and saving lives for this human pandemic and what it promises for the world as a silver lining of hope. Getting vaccinated is a way to protect ourselves and may also help protect people around us. Be safe in all our surroundings and everywhere we go, we are safe and can move our nation to a better, prosperous perspective we desire for our country and to the whole world. And I know, this is not too far from becoming a reality soon. So get vaccinated now. Here are the references used in this episode. Well then, this has been your teacher lecturer for today, Ariel Chamian Maliari, saying thank you for this learning experience with me. On my second time around, here at Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Goodbye! Ngayon ay alam ko na ang pinagkaiba ng substance sa mixture. Ang mga substance ay maaari palang maklasify bilang element o compound. Tama ka rin, Fer. Ang mga mixture naman ay pwedeng homogenous o heterogenous. Itong chocolate cream cookie ay isang halimbawa ng mixture dahil sa iba't ibang ingredients na ginamit para mabuo ito. Kaya napakahalagang basahin natin ang food labels na nakasulat sa mga pakete ng mga kinakain natin. Tama ka dyan, Dino. Maaari din nating matukoy kung ang kinakain natin ay may element o compound. Ang smart talaga ng ating teacher-lecturer sa araw na ito. Very formative and informative ang kanyang talakayan. Kaya naman... Maraming salamat, sir! Isa na namang makabuluhang talakayan ng ating natunghayan, Fernandino Teens. Samahan niyo kaming muli sa pagpaglas ng bagong kaalaman dito lang sa... Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 Na kung saan ang kabataang Fernandino ay angat sa ang King Talino. Bagong umaga Yakapin mo ang bagong pag-asa Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas. Ang suliranin, hindi lang.
laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Pagkaakbay natin lulutasin Dito sa sa iyong pagkamulat naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan maging mapanuri sundin ng wasto at na